A list method does useful operations on a list, such as adding elements, removing elements, sorting, and reversing, and more. The table shown here has several of the most commonly used list methods. Let's take a look at each one. There's the append method, which adds an item to the end of a list. The extend method, which adds an entire list to an existing list. The insert method will add an item to the list before the specified index i. Remove will remove an item from the list and it removes the first occurrence of that item. There's the pop method which returns and removes the last item in the list. And if you specify an index i, it'll remove and return the item at that position from the list. The sort method will sort all the items in the list in ascending order. The reverse method will reverse all the items in the list. So it'll keep the existing order and then just reverse it. And if you want reverse sorted order, call the sort method first and then call the reverse method. There's also an index method which returns the index of the item's first occurrence and the count method which counts the number of occurrences of the item specified in the list. So let's take a look at some examples using all these different list methods. Okay, so here in PyCharm, we have a list called pets, and we have five pets in there, dog, cat, monkey, fish, and snake. Let's try out some of these list methods. The first one was the append method, pets.append, and let's add a new pet to the end. Let's say you have a pet hamster. And let's print out the list of pets to see if hamster got appended to the end. And it did. Next was the extend method, which adds an entire list to an existing list. So let's create a new list called zoo and give that some animals. Tiger, lion, zebra. And we can say pets.extend and pass in the entire zoo to it. And then print pets. And now pets is this giant list of all the pets and animals from the zoo, including the tiger, lion, and zebra. If we wanted to insert another animal, we can say pets.insert. Specify an index. Let's just add it between dog and cat. So it's going to be before index 1. And let's say we want to add bird. Run the program now. And then bird got inserted between dog and cat. Pet.remove will remove the first occurrence of whatever element you type in there. Let's get rid of that snake. Print it. Oops. Oh, it's pet, not pet. Sorry about that. Now run the program and snake is gone from the list. There's the pop method, pets.pop, which will remove the last element from the list. So zebra is gone. We could also specify an index. Let's get Put an index one in there, get rid of the bird, run the program again. Now bird is gone. If we want to sort the items in the list in ascending order, pets.sort. It's that easy. Run the program. Look at that. Now they're alphabetized. Cat, dog, fish, hamster, lion, monkey, tiger, zebra. We can reverse the order by calling the reverse method. Now it's backwards from zebra to cat. Zebra to, wait a minute, that looks weird. No, that's because reverse doesn't actually sort them and then reverse them. It's not the reverse sorted order. So it's just reversing the original order that you had them in. So to have a reverse sorted order, first you need to say pets.sort, then reverse it, and that should fix it. Here we go. Zebra, tiger, monkey, lion, hamster, fish, dog, cat, in reverse sorted order. So sort first, then reverse. To get the index of a specific list element, we could just print out pets.index of, let's say, the tiger. It should give us one. There's one. That's where the tiger lives. Let's change that back. You know, let's just get rid of all this code and run the program. All right, so let's add multiple cats in there. cat and add another cat at the end and we could do 
we run this program, we got multiple cats in there, and we can call the count method and count the number of cats in there, and that should give us three, that there's three cats. So we tried out every single one of these list methods. Stay tuned for the next video where we learn to iterate through a list. Thanks for watching.